What's up, guys? So there is a update. Oh, I thought I just heard something. There's an update on the Crystal Anderson case. Uh, so if you don't know this case, uh, this mother was last seen at her own home. But this is what happened. Like, she was uh, finally moved out to her own home for the first time ever. And she was living there with her four kids. And she was supposedly dating somebody. But she got away from a boy, an ex-boyfriend named Tony, who uh, apparently showed up at the house one night and asked one of the kids if their mother was seeing somebody, like seeing another guy. And one of the kids told told him, "Yes, yes, mom's seeing somebody else." Uh, apparently, this got Crystal and Tony into a fight. They went outside. One of the kids heard somebody screaming. Looked out the window, and one of the kids seen their mother be thrown in the trunk of the car. Like, put in the trunk of the car. And then, uh, and then, like, the dad left, and uh, left the kids there by themselves, apparently, because he left with, with the mother, supposedly, and never come back. The mother never come back. And then, for the longest time, the police department said they had no suspects. What? The kids seen their mother get thrown in the trunk of the car by their father, and there was no suspects. Like, the police department said, we have no suspects in this case. Um, really? But anyways, the police actually decided to get off their ass and do something, so here is the update. Uh, this Tony guy has been arrested, but here we go. An arrest has been made in connection with the disappearance of, of a Columbia woman who vanished in Aiken County. Peyton Lewis is live in studio tonight with those late-breaking details. Peyton? JR law enforcement in Aiken County named a suspect today in the disappearance of Crystal Anderson. As you just mentioned, they've already made an arrest. 30 year old Crystal Anderson is a mother of four living in Wagner with her 49 year old boyfriend, Tony Derrick. She wasn't living with Tony Barry, so they, they messed up there. I think she was living by herself, like Tony wasn't living with her, but he showed up there. Crystal was last seen by her family and friends on August 20th and was reported missing three days later. Then her boyfriend was reported missing shortly after. After research and interviews, law enforcement named Barry as a suspect in Crystal's disappearance today. He was arrested earlier tonight. Barry has been charged with one count of kidnapping. But Crystal's sister says this isn't the end. I think his name's Tony Barry. They're just calling him by his last name. As the family continues their search, they ask that anyone with tips or information about where Crystal is to come forward and contact law enforcement. So there it is. Uh, I don't think this is going to end very well. Like, I think this is not going to end well at all. Like, it's it's a sad case. Uh, I think Tony definitely did something to Crystal. And that's what's going to come out. That's what eventually is going to come out. That Tony did something to Crystal. Or right now he's just under a kidnapping charge. Which more than likely he can bond out pretty easily for that. And just disappear. So. Let's hope they figure out something else besides he just kidnapped her. They should have arrested this asshole a long time ago. When the kids said that he threw their mother in the trunk of the car. And then the cops said, we have no suspects. Really? That's when it should have been taken care of. But it just goes to show that the police department needs a lot, lot fucking more uh, learning. Do I think we should defund the police or get rid of the police? Fuck no. Fuck no. We should never do that. But they definitely need to learn a lot more. So, at least he's arrested for the moment. 
But he'll probably bond out. He's probably going to bond out. On to the next video, guys. Have a good one.